welcome back! I figured it was time to do another like IRL vlog to kind of get things off my chest because I, I have to admit writing can only go so far and sometimes I feel like actually saying it aloud I get it more off my chest if that makes any sense um I don't know maybe I just feel it's more projected it's more natural plus I could only write or type as fast as you know your mind then your mind's like oh. <laughs> sound effects you're welcome <laughs> um so I wanted to bring up traitors and bad people in your life and just let you know they're not worth the time or your effort or your energy or your sympathy um so recently this has been developing over the past, I don't know, three months? Um, but anyways, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to shorten this as quickly as possible because I know this is gonna be long otherwise. So, I made a friend uh, a couple years ago and they were an artist and her and her fiance or wife at that time, uh, who was transgender, so, and now they are now a he, but I don't know for sure if they're going to try to transition again, but anyways, I met them, they're both amazing people, we became friends, I started hanging out with them, um, they have two great kids, I used to play with them all the time, we play on our Game Boys, have a good time, um, well they had a bad separation, and they both moved their separate ways, and she took the kids, um, which is great, uh, but also I don't think um, the other um, didn't get a chance to choose or have anything to do with that. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't want to guess. i just just telling you what I know. But anyways, um, so I thought we were still friends, you know. They visited a couple months ago uh, and we're doing well and everything seemed to be fine which was great it was good seeing them again the kids because they were moved out of state and um, I got in contact with the ex which is you know also still a friend of mine and they had mentioned that they were pretty shady through the actual uh, disengagement um, breakup whatever you want to call it and uh, pretty much stabbed me in the back. Like, apparently they wanted their fiance to feel so bad, they told them that myself and another friend that we used to hang out with all the time would drive by their house to check in on them to make sure they weren't doing anything fishy. And to me, that's really, really fucking shallow. And. I don't want to be around anybody that feels like they should do that. If you're that manipulative, I don't want you in my life. I'm sorry. I, I try to be a genuinely good person. I always like to give people that extra chance and be like, okay, well, you were in this mindset. It's fine. But that shit is not acceptable in any level. Just move the fuck on. It's just ridiculous that somebody would manipulate somebody that badly to the point where they thought I was the enemy. And that is not <laughs> at all what I am. So it was a real eye-opener eye for sure. Like, I don't want to talk to them at all. I removed them from all my social media. I don't want to see any of their posts. I just don't care. I just don't care. Like, I wish them the best, okay? Not saying that I'm that type of person, like, wow, you're that type of person? Well, I'm gonna talk shit about you now. Like, no. That is not who I am. I am the person who says, okay, you're not a great person. That was a really bad time in your life, I understand, but at the same time, that was pretty low. So, you can move on with your life. Best of luck. I'm gonna go on with my life and care about my other friends who actually matter. So, wish them the best. Say goodbye ship sailed. That's it. Don't worry about them. If you ever think about them, wish them the best. Think about something else. They aren't worth your time. If they're that type of person, 
that would do something that unjust, push them aside. Forget them. Move on with your own. Okay? Great. So, that's just, that's just, I don't know, I just, I've, I've been dealing with that a lot lately and I keep thinking about them and I'm just like, I want to message them and say hey and try to be friends again, but it's not going to happen. I had good time. And I tried to, con like, tell one of their friends that they're still close with, you know, like, hey, this is my feelings on this person and they did something really uncool and they wouldn't even come out and tell me about it. Like, if she... If she came out and told me, you know, like, hey, back in the day when we were going through the divorce and everything, I told my ex that you and your other friend would drive by to make sure they weren't doing anything fishy, like, I would rather them tell me in pr first place than hear about it from their ex, you know? It just, whatever, bad person, goodbye. Like, whatever. Have a good life. Goodbye. Wish you the best. Hope your kids are doing well. But now I just don't have to care about you. So, one less person I have to worry about. And every time that I think about them, I'm like, you know what? Bad person. Bad choices. That's fine. Go enjoy your life. Have fun with your kids. Treat them well. I hope you're doing well in everything that you do do. <laughs> do do. Um, but yeah, just say goodbye. They aren't worth your time. It's not worth the stress over it. Just pick up yourself and move on. <laughs> so that's all I really wanted to get by with like bad people in your life. It's just better to remove them. I know you want to be the sympathetic person. You want to give them another chance. It's not worth it. You have one life to live, how much more drama are you going to accept into your life before you start <coughs> wanting to strangle somebody? So, evaluate the situation yourself, decide if you want to keep that friendship. If you do, great, try to mend things, try to fix things up. I really think that was such a low blow, I don't want to bother with it. Somebody that manipulative, I've had exes like that and I don't want to be reminded of that. So it's best for me to just move on, wish them the best, say goodbye. I can't erase them from my memory, obviously, but every time I think about them, wish them the best, think about that they're doing well, hopefully, and then move on with ever, whatever you were doing beforehand. It's kind of like hitting the skip button. <laughs> I'm just going to think of them and skip. Oh, look at the time. Oh, I should really be picking up that book again. It's been a couple weeks. Let's go do that. So, thanks for watching. If you guys did watch, like, um, comment below if you had something similar happen to you, or any dramatic trader experiences. Um, yeah, uh, next week, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with posts. Uh, I think I want to do, over the weekends, I'm going to record three prior, maybe two. Uh, one for my furry vlog and one for my IRL vlog, and then I plan to post Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday because those are my shorter days. So, yeah, we will see you in the next episode. Whoosh! Goodbye!